You know those minor inconveniences that happen every day but are so minor you never get around to fixing them? A personal example, my friends and I like to take Polaroid photos and put them on the fridge, but I swear every time we're not looking, the magnets pull a Toy Story and magically move to cover someone's face or the main subject. Now, the best way I've found to fix these minor inconveniences is 3D printing, which we'll discuss in today's video. Hello again, my name is Trevor and I'm on a journey to design 52 3D print projects by the end of 2025. Last week I designed Minecraft blocks, but today we're showcasing two new 3D prints to solve minor inconveniences. I started this 52 project journey to strengthen my own 3D modeling skills, but during this journey I found a simple practice to improve your 3D modeling skills on a much smaller timeline. Whenever I need an idea for what to 3D print, I walk around my house and find something that annoys me. When I did this most recently, I noticed that the Polaroids on my fridge were covered by magnets, and I found my backpack laying on the ground where it shouldn't be. Great, it's that simple. We have two problems to solve, both of which can be solved with a 3D printer. And what's great about selecting these minor inconveniences is they're often quite simple to fix with easy to model 3D prints. For the backpack, I really needed a space for it because leaving it on the ground definitely isn't the best solution. And hanging it in my closet with a clothes hook, I think it looks dumb. My first instinct was to hang it on the outside of my closet, but I actually like storing it out of the way, out of sight in my closet with the hook. I'm just not a fan of how the hanger looks. So my first 3D printed solution attempt basically just shrunk the hanger down to fit the backpack better, but shockingly, I still didn't like how it looked. I didn't like the bigger version, so why did I think I'd like the smaller version? A mystery the world will never know. Although I probably would have left it, except it couldn't hold the backpack very well anyways, and it also made my backpack take up a lot of space. In my second attempt, I wanted the backpack to sit sideways to take up less space, so the hook attaching to the bar and the hook for the backpack needed to be at a 90 degree angle to each other. But this meant the print could no longer sit flat on the build plate when printing, and would need supports which we tried to minimize. The second attempt worked way better, so now we can move on to the second inconvenience. I wanted to create a magnet especially designed for these Polaroid photos. So I got my dimensions and started to create a CAD model. The main challenge with this design was tolerance for the magnet and the Polaroid photo. My first iteration didn't fit either, so to avoid printing countless models and wasting a ton of plastic, I decided to create this strip to test different hole sizes for the magnet. With this, I found the right magnet hole size, but for the Polaroid, there was no way of getting around printing various versions of this frame to find which one fit the Polaroid best. I did angle in the portions holding the photo so it would gradually get tighter, and used my 3D printing intuition based on the first failed design for adjusting the tolerance. And chance had it, the second version fit perfectly. Now there's no way for the magnet to slide over the main subject. So that's the two minor inconveniences solved. Prints like these are a great way to get your feet wet with 3D modeling for a practical application. Both models are made from simple shapes and extrusions, plus they require you to keep in mind considerations which you constantly have to be aware of with 3D printing, like tolerances and support. If you've wanted to learn to 3D model for a while but don't know what your first design should be, I highly recommend finding a minor inconvenience to solve. Anyways, both the models from this video can be downloaded for free from my printables page in the description. If you're looking for suggestions surrounding 3D printers or 3D printing equipment, check out my Amazon storefront also in the description. Thanks for watching and until next time, good luck with your own projects.